All right, what is going on, everyone out there? Um, the reason why I named this video, I'm not built for it. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I named it that. First, I will start off with about a month ago, I was making videos, you know, about every couple days or something. And I felt myself kind of going into a dark place again in my life. And I quit drinking coffee, even though I'm back to drinking caffeine again. I'm drinking, I just drank coffee yesterday. I'm drinking green tea right now. And I got off of dairy and I got sick all at the same time. I was withdrawn from coffee, dairy, and there is withdrawals to these things. Let me tell you, there is a withdrawal from coffee and dairy products. It, it all builds up in your system and it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And on top of that, I got really sick. I don't know if I caught, you know, the COVID-19 going around or I caught some kind of bug, but it was really bad. And it's still, I still don't feel right. My head, I'm, I'm just in this, I'm in this just dark place. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I got to get it off my mind. I got to get it off my chest. I don't know if this is going to help, but I need to do it. I need to do it. And then I tried weaning down off of my medication a little bit and uh, it, it's just, it's horrible. It's horrible. And I, I swear to goodness, I'm just not built for it. I'm not built for this. I'm not built for a lot of things in this life. And, I, and it's hard for me to admit that it is, as a man. We don't want to admit our weaknesses. You know, I don't want to admit my weaknesses, but I am weak. I'm weak. You know, I had another death in the family a couple months ago, and it seems like ever since then, something just happened. Like something just took my breath away. Something just took my zeal of life away for a while. And... I was doing okay at times in between that, but it's, it just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. You know, I'm, I'm giving it an effort to wean down off of this medication, but I can't do it. I'm not built for it. I try to get off, you know, coffee and stimulants. I, I can't do it. I'm not built for it. I, when I'm sick, I'm completely miserable. I get suicidal. I can't think my brain was going like this. This is how my brain felt when I was sick and my nerves feel like I'm going like this and my eyes will get like buggy. You know, sometimes in my videos, you'll see me blinking and stuff. That's because I have some type of nerve damage and stuff from when I had a really bad concussion and I'm just not built for it. I'm not built to, you know, and admitting these things, I do not like to do this. I do not like admitting this stuff, but who is going to do it? Who's going to do it? You know, and it's, it's really weird. It's really, really weird. Like I have, see, right when I started to try to do something different and I tried, I tried see when I tried, it's like things just went downhill. You know, I said, well, let me try, excuse me, let me try to be a more humble guy in my life. Let me try to maybe do something that I normally don't do. And it just doesn't, quote, work, quote, work for me. It, it just doesn't, I'm just not built for it. I'm not built for it. You know, I am, I am a coward. I am scared of so many things. I am, 
I live in fear. I worry all the time when I'm not taking the one medication I take. My mind goes completely haywire. You know, and and did I let myself get like this? Yes and no. It, it's this is what happened in my life. I got I became like this, you know? Life happened. Life happened on life's terms. And this is where I ended up. I ended up by myself in York County, Pennsylvania, living in a one-room apartment, sharing a bathroom with a couple other people, you know, doing what I do. And I had this summer, I wasn't feeling too bad this summer because I was eating I was on this uh, strict diet. I was only eating broccoli and uh, grits with a little bit of butter, honey, and I was drinking, you know, my coffee and everything was cool. I was exercising a little bit and everything was cool. You know, even though my uncle had died the same way that my Aunt Tammy had died a couple months before. And this is not the only reason. I'm not using my family's deaths as an excuse. But it messes me up. It messed me up. And it, it just, it does psychological damage. And I'm not built for it. I'm not built for it. You know, I can I can put on this mask and facade. We can keep putting on this mask and facade and we can keep acting like everything's a-okay. And listen, I don't have a problem with people that are keeping themselves healthy and are doing what they have to do to get themselves out of those really dark places so that they can just see the light. I don't want to be in a completely pitch black place and I don't want to be in a completely place that's lit all the way to where I don't even know what to do. You know, I don't want too much and I don't want too little. I just want enough to get by. And that's another thing I want to mention before I forget this video in this video to whoever donated to my channel. I appreciate that more than anything. Thank you. I, I just, I had to take a break from all this, you know, I had to take a break, you know, and I still think that I need that break, but I don't want to, I don't want to go back into this mode. Like, I don't want to go back into this way of thinking, like, you know, I don't know, you know, I, 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 I do have some psychological things going on, you know, I have horrible nightmares night terrors, you know, I have the worst, craziest, weirdest dreams that I couldn't even think of myself, you know, and here's another thing I want to talk about, and I know this may sound hypocritical, but you know what, I'm to the point where it just doesn't even matter anymore, it, it, it just really doesn't matter to me, you know, I'm just, I'm past this, even though I do worry, I do worry, and I do care, even though I say I don't care about petty stuff, I still, I don't know, I lost train of thought there, sorry about that, but anyway, I found myself the last month or two, and this is something that I have to do personally. Now, I know a lot of y'all are not going to understand this, but this is for me. I have found myself praying again. Now, whether there is really a God or there isn't a God, it's, it's kind of like me reflecting on myself. It, it's something I have to do. I have to... I have to pray about things I'm thankful for. I have to say a prayer for my family and the world that we would all have peace. You know, this is what I pray. I pray peace. And I, I really shouldn't tell people what I pray about. I really shouldn't do this because, I, you know, it feels weird. But I do. 
I pray peace for my mom, my dad, my brother. He's in jail again. I pray for peace for the whole world, not just my family. And I and I'll say the names of people and I'll say thank you for my bed, thank you for the drink of coffee, my water, thank you for food, thank you for my car, thank you that I can even get up, thank you, you know, thank you. And it, it's like, do I know if there's really a God? No, I don't know. But I have to think that there is something, there, there's that part of my mind that has to think that there is something else besides this. But then on the other hand, I know this is going to sound completely crazy. On the other hand, I don't believe in God. And I'm saying, you know, screw this. Like, I, I, I don't... I don't want to be religious and I don't want to do these religious practices. Even though I don't see prayer as a religious practice, I see it as reflection. See, we all interpret things differently in life. You know, this is all a means of interpretation. If you have to do that personally in your own room or when you're away from everybody and that's what you have to do to calm down or get out of your situation that you're in mentally, psychologically, physically, then you do that thing. But but when we start forcing things on other people, that's where I draw the line, you know? But it, it's just, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm just... I get confused when I get this way, when I feel like, like when I get sick and when I try to get off of coffee or I try to get off my medication, of course there's going to be withdrawal. Of course there's going to be some kind of withdrawal, but I'm just not built for it. I just, I don't want to do it. I don't want to go through this. I, the last couple days I had to, I had to pay out. I got to go pay this fine today. I got to drive down the road, you know, about 20 miles to pay this fine. I don't want to do it. Um, I have to, this lady got to call me back for this interview on the phone so I can get my food stamps and I'm thankful for them food stamps. But I don't want to do it. I don't want to talk to this woman. And she called me and I missed the call. And it's like my insurance was due. And thank goodness my dad helped me pay it. And like I said, whoever donated to my channel, that will really help. And I really need it right now. I really need it. Like I, I'm, I'm not going to front. I'm not going to say that I'm all good here and stuff. I'm, I'm in a bad situation in life and, and it comes and it is what it is. And I don't like talking about this, but I have to do it. I got to get this off my chest. I haven't did a video like this for so long and it's just, I let shit build up and I'm not built for it, but I keep letting this stuff build and build and it slowly builds and it turns into like a pressure cooker and I'm ready to just blow up like not hurt people or uh, do anything not do any harm to anyone but I'm just like I, I don't like it's like I don't want to vent this you know it's like I get sick and tired of having to do things that I don't want to do but when I do them I might feel a little better but then I don't want to do it. And it's just this vicious cycle that, that we go through, that I go through. And anyway, this video might cut off. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it short here because my phone is still messed up. I'm still looking into a new phone. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for the donations. I appreciate that more than anything, y'all. I really do. Thank you. And, you know, I just, I can't handle being sick. I can't handle withdrawal anymore. Like, I went through this so many times. I 
withdrew from this substance that I take three times before. Three times I withdrew from this stuff. And it's like each time it gets worse. And it's like, I might as well just stay on it. You know, like I ask myself, what is the reason to get off of it? Uh, now, that's another thing. I do have a reason that I want to get off it, but it's like, I can't do it. I'm not built for it. Like, I just, I can't do it. Like, it, it's really hard to explain, and I know it's it's probably really confusing. Then you're like, oh, well, get off of it and get healthy and all this. But I've been having health issues since 2003. I've been having health issues. You know, I don't talk about it on my channel, though. I don't let y'all know, but I have nerve damage. I have circulation problems. I mean, look at my hands. They're not bad now. This isn't nothing. My hands are good now, but my hands get red and swollen, and my eyes feel weird, and I get this weird feeling in my head and in the back of my neck, and I feel like I'm going like this. Like I got Parkinson's or MS or something, and I'm only 36, but I've been going through this ever since I was younger. Ever since I could remember, I had this, I had gotten dealt a bad hand with my DNA, you know, and my brother Kazzy, he doesn't have this stuff. My brother Earl didn't have this stuff. My mom doesn't have this stuff. My dad has some of it, so I must have got the gene where uh, one of my aunts has MS and, you know, my gram has certain problems and stuff, but I must have got some kind of gene where, you know, this happened and I couldn't help it. I can't help who I am, you know, but yeah, I'm just, I admit it. I'm not built for it. I'm not built for it. I'm not no tough guy. I'm a coward. I'm not strong. I'm weak. I was never built for this life and I admit that and what I would like to happen is this get off my mind and my chest a little bit so that I can move on from this crap you know and I all that I could think is that maybe my suffering can help another person maybe my suffering can help one of you and can get you through the day. That, you know, that's all that I can ask for. What else can I do but be thankful for my food, my shelter, my clothing, the water I drink, and to do these videos and to vent when I need to vent? What else can I possibly do? But yet this does things, you know, the mind does things, the body does things, it kind of on its own. It's It's kind of like an entity of its own, you know? So it's kind of, it's really hard for me to move on. When things like this happen, it's kind of like I got in a car wreck and my bones got broke and I can't recuperate, you know? That's how I feel. So maybe this is just a time in my life where I'm really down and, and I'll get over it and I'll move on. And I know it will come again. It will come again, but I want to be prepared. I want to be prepared this time for when it does come again. I'm tired of getting side swiped and hit with the Mike Tyson uppercut without knowing, you know? So anyway, I appreciate y'all. I will leave a link down in my description if you would like to donate, if you want to go on my Instagram, but I haven't been really doing anything. Um... I got so many things I want to do. I got so many things I want to do. And I can't really do much here. I can do some things, but... I, I just I just don't feel like I can express myself the way I really want to here. And it's... Sometimes I'm just surviving and I'm not living. I'm not living. I'm surviving to die. And I cannot stand that feeling you know when I'm surviving to die I want to live to die not survive to die
So thanks for watching, y'all. Somebody but nobody resonate. I appreciate y'all for being here and listening. I will talk with y'all again later.